or welcome back to my channel. My name is Bettina, I'm your makeup enthusiast. In today's video, I'm sharing with you my empties for quarter one of this year. There's a big mixture of products in here. So if you wanna see mini reviews on all the products in this basket, then stay tuned. But before we get into the video, if you are new around here and you love watching any kind of beauty related content, whether that's project pans um, or haul videos, empties videos, make sure you subscribe down below. And without further ado, let's jump on in to the empties and all of the reviews. So I have a big basket of products here. Most of these products are like from um, project pans that I've been like focusing on to use up and get finished. There's a lot in here, so let's jump straight into it. First up on top here is a little candle. This is from the Kerry, I think it's Kerry & Co or something like that, Botany Candle. This is the Rose and Water Lily Candle. Actually, no, I think it's Kosh. It says at the bottom, Kosh.com. It must be Kosh & Co. Anyway, little candle, Rose Water, sorry, Rose and Water Lily. I actually really enjoyed this one. It does have like a lot still in there though. It didn't burn the best, the scent was nice. This was a gift from one of my friends for my birthday. So I don't even know where she got it from, <laughs> but I probably wouldn't repurchase it just because I feel like they just don't burn that evenly. I feel like there is a lot of wax still left in there that could have been used and it didn't didn't like burn properly a couple of little samples or like products that i kind of consider samples first up the mecca cosmetica bright eyed hydrogel eye masks these come in like these little single foiled sachets i don't like to buy eye masks in this packaging i just find it really wasteful and the like foil packaging is a bit excessive in my opinion i prefer to buy if i am going to buy eye masks like to buy them in the little pots I often get these in like beauty loops or as like mecha bonus gifts. So I always enjoy them when I have them, but I definitely wouldn't go out of my way to purchase them with my own money. This one here I had in my collection for quite a while. It's the Appy Vita Express Gold with Prickly Pear Moisturizing and Revitalizing Mask. I don't know if you can even buy these anymore. I think I purchased it from Priceline like a couple of years ago. So I wouldn't pick it up in any event because I didn't love the product, but I'm glad that I have it out of my collection. The more Orange Flower and Lavender Hand Balm. Uh, again, I think I got this as a gift from someone or like as part of a gift. This smelled really nice. I really enjoyed the scent of this one. That like citrusy smell. I loved it. The orange, orange flower, really, really enjoyed it. The texture was really nice. Um, I've gone through a few like different more products in my lifetime and I've always really enjoyed them. Bumble and Bumble Surf Spray. This was like a little, um, I think this is like the smaller size you can purchase. I like the effect that surf sprays give me or like sea salt sprays give me. I just find I prefer, I would prefer to go in the ocean. <laughs> like, I feel like if I actually go in the ocean, then I get the benefit of being at the beach and nice hair, whereas this just dries my hair out. I prefer to use like a texturizing type spray as opposed to using a sea salt spray. Il Maquillage Woke Up Like This Foundation. Um, this I got from a friend. It didn't work for her. Um, I think she just found that it was breaking her out too much. So I used it. I found it like really heavy on the skin. So I was mixing this with my MAC uh, face and body foundation just to really like thin it out. I would not repurchase this. I just found it too heavy. If you use it by itself as well, it just looks heavy. Like it looks heavy and cakey on the skin. So I don't love this one. Wouldn't recommend. A few little, few more little samples. Uh, Paula's Choice 8% AHA Gel Exfoliant. I didn't mind this one, but in terms of like these kind of exfoliating type products from Paula's Choice, I prefer to use just the BHA, the, like the 2% exfoliating liquid that they have. Um, I prefer to just use that like every night as opposed to this like higher strength. Um, I just feel like having that regular lower percentage is better for me. Peter Thomas Roth Pumpkin Enzyme Mask. I really enjoyed this one. This was both a physical and like a chemical exfoliant with those enzymes. Really enjoyed this one. And I really like that it was that physical. So if you did 
sometimes I just feel like I need that physical, like when your skin gets like really congested, um, I just sometimes feel like I need that physical as well as the chemical. So I definitely would consider repurchasing this one. I got this little sample as one of like the Sephora 100 point perks. Then we have the Aven SPF 50 plus um, sunscreen. This was nice. I, I enjoyed this sample and I got like a few uses out of it. So it, it gave me a good understanding of whether I enjoyed it or not. I don't think it tops the sunscreen that I usually use, which is one of the sunscreens from Ultraviolet. So I just really enjoy the Ultraviolet formulas. Um, so I wouldn't go out of my way and purchase this one. Speaking of Fuller's Choice 2% BHA, I have a empty here. I think this is like my second or third empty of one of these. I've since repurchased it. I find it really helps my skin. I just notice a difference when I don't use this and sometimes I might go like a week or so without using it and sometimes my skin might react to something and I get like a lot of whiteheads popping up. This just like gets it back under control like nobody's business. So I really enjoy this product and I find it really beneficial for my skin. Mary Kay Pore Purifying Serum. This did nothing and you can't get Mary Kay in Australia anymore. Institute, uh, I believe, eye cream. Um, this one I like cut open and got everything out of it because the packaging is terrible. I hate the packaging on this one. It is like one of these like little flip open squeezy tube type um, dispensers. And I just find that... It's just ridiculous for this kind of product. One, I find it dispenses too much product because you only need like a small amount for around your eyes. And then you end up wasting a lot of product if you don't cut it open because of the way the packaging is designed. I just, no, I would not repurchase this purely because of the packaging. Some samples here. This one is the new Hourglass Foundation in Porcelain. I didn't mind this one. I would like to use it a few more times because I wasn't quite sure how I feel about it just from this sample. I think I only got two uses out of this sample. I have a few other samples in other colors that I think I could at least make work a little bit just to get a bit more of an understanding of the formula. I've got two highlighter or liquid highlighter um, minis here. The first one is the Josie Marin Argan Enlightenment Illuminizer. I wouldn't purchase this one. I just didn't enjoy the formula. And I find a lot of Josie Moran products are like coconut based. So I just don't like that scent or like just how that goes with my skin, coconut products. So there's that one. And then the Cover FX Custom Enhancer Drops. I don't even think you can get this product anymore, but in any event, I didn't love how it looked on my skin. So I wouldn't purchase either of them. The Ellis Brooklyn Apres Perfume. This scent is just not for me. It's just, I find it a little bit too smoky for my liking and overpowering. I just find scents like these just too overpowering for my liking they kind of almost take my breath away a little bit and I just don't like how they wear on me I just I think it might just be me my preferred scent profile and like my body chemistry I just don't think it works Wayne Goss lip liner in natural berry I really enjoyed this lip liner I found it was like a really nice formula and it was also like it was firm enough that it lasted a lot longer, I feel, in terms of like how long the actual pencil lasted. Um, and it was also a really nice formula. It like smoothed on the lips really nicely. It lasted and wore well on the lips. I don't think that you can get this at the moment. I have a feeling that Wayne Goss has like pulled all of his products from the shelves of Beautylish and he's like reformulating or something. So he might bring back lip pencils at some point in the future, but I don't know whether you can get them anymore at the moment. Kiehl's Ultra Facial Advanced Repair Barrier Cream. Um, I liked this product for a certain purpose. Um, I sometimes find that my eyelids and like around my eyes can get really irritated. Um, I often will get like really bad hay fever to the point where my eyes get so itchy and when they get really itchy, I find like the next few days or so, the skin on my eyes gets really like dry and flaky. Sometimes it can even get to the point where it is like flaking off. So I like to have products like this 
that are for like that barrier protection and I will like go to bed with products like this like slathered on my eyelids like to the point where it's like a thick coating and then I find just in the morning it really I wake up with my eyelids revived so products like this I love to have like little samples and I have a product from I think it's La Roche Posay that I just find is a life saver when it comes to having like a reaction with my eyelids. So really enjoyed this one. Fresh Lotus Youth Preserve Moisturizer. I really enjoyed this one as well. This came in a little um, Sephora point perk set. I think it was like a 100 or 200 point perk. So I really enjoyed this. I found that it. I just woke up in the morning with my skin noticeably different when I was using this as a moisturizer. So definitely would consider checking this one out because I just felt like it really helped. Yeah, it just helped improve my skin. So I'm gonna check that one out. Another one, the Kiehl's Ultra Facial Cream. This was a little sample from Mecca. Again, I don't use this one all over my face, but I keep these like heavier creams around for when I am having those issues on my eyelids. And I find that they're really good for that purpose. I just find these kind of heavier moisturizers on my face are too much. L'Occitane, this is the shower gel in, oh, I can't remember what this is called because it's like all in French. It's like the citrus version of their like green body wash. This was one of their like little um, 500 ml refills. So I just popped this into the pump bottle that I had in my shower. I really like the scent and I like the formula, but these are quite expensive from L'Occitane. I don't think I would repurchase it. Citrus Verbena, that's what it's called, Citrus Verbena. So I don't think I would repurchase this one, even though I do enjoy it because it is quite expensive and you're only getting half a liter. But I do like the fact that they do now offer these refill pouches for quite a lot of their products. Another little refill pouch in here is the Kiehl's Ultra Facial Oil Free Gel Cream. I really like this one as well. I've repurchased this particular um, moisturizer over and over again. I just find the oil-free gel cream for my oily skin is really nice. Um, I will use this during the day as my moisturizer of nighttime. I will often use a facial oil, but I just find that this doesn't leave my skin feeling like excessively greasy. It sinks in really nicely and it still keeps my skin moisturized. Paula's Choice Hyaluronic Acid Booster. This took me ages to get through. I would not repurchase this. I just don't think it was worth the money. I have a lot more samples in here. So let's go through them. Shiseido Benefinet. Better, better, Benefinet. Uh, wrinkle smoothing eye cream. I don't remember using this one, but obviously it wasn't that great. Uh, the Innisfree Retinol Sica Repair Ampule. Again, um, it was just okay. Kiehl's Rare Earth Deep Pore Cleansing Mask. I have had samples of this in the past, and I think I definitely would consider grabbing this at some point in the future. Um, I just don't need a like cleansing mask at the moment. Orbe Gold Lust Nourishing Hair Oil. Uh, this sample lasted me a really decent amount of time, which I enjoyed. I really like the scent of this one, but I've currently got another hair oil in my collection that is going to last me an eternity. So I, I, I just don't have a need for this product at the moment. Briogeo Don't Despair Repair Deep Conditioning Mask. I quite like this product. I just don't think I would ever actually purchase a full size of it because I find I'm always getting these in Mecca Beauty loot boxes. So I don't feel that there's a need for me to go out and buy a full size because I'm always getting it for free. La Roche-Posay and Thelios SPF 50 Plus sunscreen. Again, it was a nice sunscreen. I enjoyed the sample, but it doesn't rival my regular sunscreen that I use, which is the ultraviolet. Floral Street Sweet Almond Blossom Perfume. I didn't enjoy this one. I'm not a great lover of the Floral Street perfumes, which is disappointing because I feel like they've got so many perfumes on offer, but I haven't been able to find one that I like. I think the only one that I've been partial to was, I think it's the Sunflower one 
all of the other ones I just find they're too florally or too like overpowering and I just don't get on with them. Charlotte Tilbury Collagen Super Fusion Facial Oil. Again, I always find I'm getting some kind of Charlotte Tilbury sample from like Beauty Loops or often if I do place an order from Charlotte Tilbury, there's quite a few like little samples in the orders. So I don't feel like there's a need for me to go out of my way and purchase these kind of products. As well on top of that, I currently have like three backup facial oils. So I don't have a need for any facial oils in any aspect or any way at the moment. Kiehl's Midnight Recovery Concentrate. I was hoping that this would allow me to get a better understanding of this product as to whether I like it and it was something that I wanted to incorporate regularly into my routine. Um, but I lost most of this because when I put away my skincare box one night, turns out this like accidentally fell over and it just like poured everywhere over my counter and I only got one use out of it. So that's disappointing. Ella Cosmetics uh, Beauty Sponge. I love these beauty sponges. I constantly repurchase them. I often buy the duo sets when they have a decent sale. Sometimes they have like up to 50% off sales. So I will often stock up on these when they do have those sales. I think I still have like three or four in my collection. I have one that I'm currently using and then I also have those beauty blenders that I got recently in those um, beauty loop, uh, those beauty loop, in those Sephora point perks that I featured in my last haul video. So I think I have like six beauty blenders in my collection or something at the moment or six beauty sponges at the moment in my collection. So I don't need to purchase any more anytime soon, but I definitely would repurchase these, have continued to repurchase them. They're great beauty sponges. The second to last product is the Ella Cosmetics Brush Cleaner. This comes in like a full tin of brush soap. These normally last me like around a year to get through. I use it very regularly to clean my sponges. I'll use it to clean my brushes and the big cake of soap lasts me a very decent amount of time. Again, I restock up on this when Ella Cosmetics has um, their really good sales. So it comes, these both, um, I think the, the sponges normally are a duo pack for 30. The brush cleaner is normally $30 as well. So when these are on sale, I, I like grab a couple of them. And last but not least is the Allies of Skin Peptides and Omegas Firming Eye Cream. I really enjoyed this product. I would definitely consider repurchasing it. I enjoyed the packaging. It's like a little airless pump. So it lasted me a really nice amount of time. I loved like the, the pump you could really control um, how much you squirted out at a time. I really liked the consistency and the feel on the skin. I've since recently purchased one of the Medicaid eye creams. So I'm going to give that a try, see how I feel about that one. If I don't like that one, I think I'll definitely go back to this Allies of Skin one. I just, I really enjoyed it. And this one actually as well, sat really nicely under my makeup as well. So that is all of my empties. That's my quarter one empties for this year. Let me know if you've tried any of these products in here or if you've discovered any new Holy Grail products over the last couple of months. Let me know down in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new around here and you want to keep up to date on any of my future videos. That's it for this video, beautiful. I hope you're having an absolutely fantastic day and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye, beautiful.